I got broads in the land, just to the lean the fan, credit cards and scams, hitting the licks in the van. Welcome back. I am just a YouTuber. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to use the EQ presets on the Corsair Pro wireless headset. Uh, the previous video, I showed you how to program macros on the Scimitar Pro mouse. Uh, that tutorial general aspect covers any key like if you have a keyboard that has macros, it's going to basically do the same thing. Um, if you want to learn on how to do those or if you didn't catch the last video I'll have a card popping up right now that you can click on and that will take you to that video so lighting effects I've already covered in the first video as well I'll have a card and a link in the description for you guys that haven't seen that video uh, it's just it's a basic aspect on how to use the lighting effects on this driver today we're going to be looking at the EQ presets um, <clears throat> so if you're looking at these presets, um, they're already set up to basically for bass boost, obviously in the title it's for bass boost. Um, cure direction is if you have the Adobe headphones, in this case that's like surround sound essentially. It's gonna, when someone's walking down the hallway, you're gonna hear them actually walking down the hallway if you're in another room. It's kind of cool. I like using these headsets for like um, first person shooters such as Rainbow Six Siege. It's if you adjust the drivers right, in this case, um, like if I have that one on, that one on, um, and you can actually switch between the two. So since that one's active and it's highlighted, if you hit the back button on this end right here, the headset it should might be not doing it because I'm in the drivers. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's doing it because I have the drivers over now. I'll show you after though when I exit out. Oh no, I'm just stupid. <laughs> I had the headphones off, so let's try this again. As you see, if you push this button in, it will actually switch between the things that you have active. So you can technically actually have all these active. Um, so like I said, if you're in a first person shooter, obviously I would use either Pure Direct or FPS comp or FPS uh, competition. Uh, these are pretty good for listening out for footsteps. Why is this beeping? Uh, it's because I'm switching between the two. <laughs> um, you also over here, um, if you, this is your mic volume. So let's say, is it going to let me do it? I don't know. So you have to have the mic active. And to adjust it, you just pull it up and down. And if you want to hear what the mic actually sounds like, you can just turn that up and you'll actually hear you, yourself in the headset itself. Um, I don't typically use the side tone because obviously it's not like it's a mixer mic like that I'm using right now. The Audio, te Audi Audio Technica 2020 where you can adjust you know, the mid tones and stuff like that. It's just a basic chatting mic. I, I guess they have it in here just for more customization purposes. But there's really no need to listen to yourself obviously because you can't really adjust much. Legacy. The mic because the EQ presets are just for the sound itself, not for outputting sound. Um, down here is obviously the different. So that's stereo, that's um, surround sound, surround sound 5.1. Sorry, I cannot talk today. So let's say okay, these presets don't you know tickle your peach. You can actually hit the plus sign and make your own preset. So by adjusting these, you can you know make your own preset EQ present that's active um, and whatnot and then shabam link EQ slider I don't know what that means but I'm gonna activate it and now you can switch between them and whatnot so what's also nice about this headset that I really like is that one it's customizable the the sound on it's amazing it's comfortable to use um and if you guys actually want me to do like a like a review on the headset itself and actually see the headset i'd be more than happy to do it for you guys uh the overall design of the headset's like freaking amazing i actually like hands down would recommend this headset over any other headset uh if anyone had a razor headset for my like personally i had a razor headset 
I think I had the Krakens, and they were so uncomfortable that if you wore them for long periods of time, you know, your ears and the side of your head hurt because they just like crunched your head so hard. Um, the padding was like terrible on them, and I spent like seventy dollars on them. These ones I spent around. I, I waited on sale. I think it was like sixty bucks. I think retail price is like eighty or ninety bucks. And my God, I I would fucking buy them again if I had to. Like they're hands down like one of the best headsets that I personally have experience with. And if you guys are interested in buying these headsets, I'll have the link in the description to the Corsair website down below. But uh, other than that, guys, like, there's really not much to it. You can activate the different things like I showed you. There's already presets set, and you can even customize your own. Um, and you don't. Even, the best part is you don't even have to be in the drivers to change the um, presets. Like I showed you before, you just gotta hit this button down below to switch to the preset that you want. Let's say if you're switching games, oh, I'm switching games. So what this uh, headset has, which I'm gonna have to restart the drivers because it's being a little buggy. Um, it has a. I want to call. I don't want to call it an AI, but like an AI voice essentially that tells you what setting that you're on. So I'll show you real quick once this loads. What I mean by that. So you just heard it right there saying "mic on." The mic's off. It's up. Um, it was, she will tell you when it's on, when it's off, when your battery is actually running low on the headset or when it's charging, even when the charge is complete. Uh, you also got the feature of, like I said again, it's going to tell you what preset that you're on. So, like, obviously, if you know what, okay, one's FPS comp, two's going to be movie theater. You'll know what headset, or what headset, what preset, there we go, Josh. Uh, what preset that you're on and you won't have to literally open up the device driver and go in and switch it by hand by clicking it You can just do it from the headset without clicking anything You could just launch your game and play with your friends and have a great time um, The driver overall I think is smooth runs great I showed you how to do macros the DPI the whole basically this whole thing over here Like I said if you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate leave it down in the comments I'll be more than happy to answer uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have links for this, uh, for the macro mouse stuff, uh, in a card right now, and down below as well. I'll also have the lighting effects that I did down below and in the card. Um, other than that, guys, that's basically the drivers for customization. Um, the other cool thing about this driver that I like is that it has a dashboard. So, as you can see, this dashboard essentially tells you information. So, right now my headset's running on 11%, so I'm gonna plug her in is if you have different profiles you know you're not going to remember all these 12 freaking macro buttons no one's ever going to be able to i mean after a while maybe uh but you know you're not going to remember oh g3 is going to be freaking primary gadget you know so you're not going to remember it uh so what this dashboard offers it gives you the ability okay well if you have a second monitor in this case i do you can drag it over there Launch it up, and then you'll see what, okay, I'm on green, so that's 400 DPI. You can adjust the things from right here if you actually want, wow, that's really high DPI. <laughs> uh, you can adjust what ones you're on here, right? Uh, just like that. Now, having this open does not eat CPU or anything, because it's technically already running in the background. So, using the same amount of CPU and all that resources as if you had this thing closed out. And if you're not using your second monitor for anything, why not have it up? You know, that's the way I look at it. Uh, this tells you obviously your battery status. Excuse me. But yeah, it's kind of like the dashboard is just like instant information about your devices or profile settings you have set up. And you can change them right then and there. Uh, yeah, but instant line is just change all the lines back to a color solid color and then you just got your settings which you know that deals with your pulling rate of your that's all the techno stuff uh if you want me to cover it i'll be more than happy to but i think i'm just gonna leave this one go uh but yeah guys that is basically the full overview slash show showcase slash tutorial bleh, of this driver if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate just leave them down in the comment section. I'll respond to them as soon as I can. I want to thank you guys for watching and all your amazing support.
And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.